when you connect resistors in parallel, and a parallel circuit is where you have a junction and current will split into two paths. So when resistors are connected in parallel, then what would be the, the total effective resistance, for example, of this situation here? The combined resistance is always less than so we're using that choice it's always less than the smallest resistor by itself well, what's meant by that well let's just for imagine for a moment that we haven't got that 20 ohm resistor in parallel and current is flowing in here and it has to flow through the 5 ohm resistor and current is experiencing 5 ohms of resistance and it will drop some voltage across that resistor and so the potential difference uh, will be across that resistor. Now, okay, so if we add in the 20 ohm resistor then that current has an extra path to travel. So it's continuing to flow through the 5 ohm resistor, but it's got an extra path. An extra path. And so the total combined resistance appears to be less because of that extra path. And it's always going to be less than the smallest resistor in the parallel network, in the parallel circuit. So in this case, it will have to be 4 ohms out of the three options that would be the effective resistance of these two resistors which are in parallel. Now there is a formula to work out the effective combined uh, resistance and we'll look at that in another flashcard. But for the moment remember that when resistors are connected in parallel the combined resistance is always less than the smallest resistor by itself.